Gradius Gradiusu Gradiusu is a 1985 horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up video game developed and published by Konami, originally released as a coin operated arcade game in 1985. It was the first game in the Gradius series of shoot 'em ups. In Gradius, the player maneuvers a spacecraft known as the Vic Viper that must defend itself from the various alien enemies. The game features a power up system called the Power Meter based upon collecting capsules to purchase additional weapons. The arcade version of Gradius was released internationally outside Japan under the title of Nemesis, although later releases kept the original title. Home versions were released for various platforms, such as the Famicom, NES, the MSX Home Computer, and the PC Engine, among other formats. The original arcade game and some of the home versions has also been included in various compilation releases and are available for download in services such as the Virtual Console and PlayStation Network. Gameplay The player controls the trans-dimensional spaceship Vic Viper, and must battle waves of enemies through various environments. The game became synonymous with the phrase, "...destroy the core", as the standard of boss battles in the Gradius series involved combat with a giant craft, in the center of which would be situated one to several blue-colored spheres. These bosses would be designed in such a way that there would be a straight passage from the exterior of the giant craft which leads directly to one of these cores. The player must fire shots into this passage while avoiding attack patterns from weapon emplacements on the body of the boss. However, small but destructible walls are situated in this passage, impeding the bullet shots from damaging the core, and must be whittled away by repeated well-placed shots. In a way, these tiny walls represent the boss's shielding gauge until its core is finally vulnerable to attack. Some bosses have the ability to regenerate these walls. When the core has sustained enough hits, it usually changes color from blue to red, indicating that it is in critical condition and its destruction is imminent. Upon the destruction of a core, a piece of the boss may be put out of commission, seeing that it is no longer powered by a core, or if all of the cores are destroyed, the entire boss is defeated and explodes satisfyingly. Note that these cores are not present on the more organic bosses of Gradius. Such bosses have weak spots in places such as a mouth, head or eye. When gameplay begins, the Vic Viper is relatively slow and has only a weak gun. This level of capability is generally insufficient for engaging enemies, but the Vic Viper can gain greater capabilities by collecting and using power-up items. While most arcade games utilize distinct power-up items that each correspond to a specific effect on the player character, Gradius has a single power-up item. The effect of this power-up item is to advance the currently selected item in a power-up menu that appears at the bottom of the screen. When the desired power-up is highlighted, the player can obtain it by pressing the power-up button, returning the menu to its initial state in which no power-up is highlighted. Release Ports of Gradius were also done for the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Microsoft Windows, MSX, NEC PC-8801, Famicom, NES, PC Engine, Virtual Console, Sharp X1, Sharp X68000, Mobile Phones, Sega Saturn, PlayStation and Sinclair ZX Spectrum. The game went to number 2 in the UK sales charts, behind Feud. It was also released on Windows Store on December 20, 2013, GameNow in May 2014 and for PlayStation Foz Arcade Archives on January 25 in Japan. The NES version of Gradius introduced a cheat code that would later become known as the Konami Code, as it would be used in numerous future Konami games. In this game, inputting the code while pausing the game would grant the players ship multiple power-ups instantly. An NES port was re-released for the Nintendo Switch Online on September 19, 2018 in Worldwide and update releases Gradius, Stage 5 Stronger Version Gradiusu Suit G5 Zui Chang Ba John, Gradiusu Suit G5 Saikyo Bayon on November 14, 2018 in Worldwide. Gradius was also converted for the Nintendo vs. Series Arcade platform. It is identical to the NES version, but includes no cheat codes and allows the player to continue indefinitely. The arcade version of Gradius is included in the Gradius collection for the PlayStation Portable and in Konami Classics series, arcade hits for the Nintendo DS. 
A version for the Game Boy was also released in 1990 under the European name Nemesis. It is the first portable game in the Gradius series and contains five levels which play similarly to previous Gradius games. Players select the stage and the number of available extra lives at the start. The game was later included in the compilation Konami GB Collection Vol. 1, where it is titled Gradius. Development Gradius began development when series creator Hiroyasu Makaguchi was given a team to work with and asked everyone what kind of game they wanted to develop, to which they responded being a shoot em up, with the intent of surpassing Namco's Xevious. They decided to make it a horizontal shooting game because they wanted to reuse material from Scramble as much as possible, and Gradius was originally named Scramble 2. The development lasted for a year after refining and experimenting with the gameplay. The team originally tried 20 different movement patterns for the options and used a process of elimination when something did not work. For the story, Hiroyasu's team was inspired by science fiction movies, with the popular sci-fi films at the time being Star Wars and the anime adaptations of Lensman. The team saw Lensman together and it influenced the game's story. Its plasma laser also left a big impression on them and was why Gradius featured a laser weapon. The Moai were included because they wanted to add a mysterious element to the game like Xevious and its Nazca lines. Audio Alpha Records released a limited edition soundtrack album for this game, Konami Game Music Vol. 128XA85, on the 27th of June 1986. Apollon Music released a limited edition soundtrack album for this game, Original Sound of Gradius KHY1016, on the 5th of May 1987. In addition, Disc 1 of Konami Music Masterpiece Collection, which was released on October 1, 2004, is mostly devoted to Gradius. Reception The Western cover art for the NES version claimed that it had sold 1 million copies in Japan. GameSpot stated that Gradius was one of the toughest side-scrolling shooter games available on the NES, second only to Contra. IGN has given the game a rating 7 out of 10 for its re-release on the Wii Virtual Console and has hailed it as one of the greatest classic side-scrolling shooter games. Legacy Gradius spawned several sequels, the first of which was 1986's Salamander. The series has continued into the seventh generation with Gradius Rebirth. See also Konami Code Scramble — predecessor, also by Konami Paradius a series of games also made by Konami that parody the Gradius series and also draws on other Konami games. Otomedius Thunder Cross XX <laughs>